Hello friends, I am Neeraj. In our uh, blog application, although we completed most of the things, but uh, one important thing uh, that we missed and that is the how to render the image. So thanks to the Vulcan, so who pointed me out about this stuff. So in this uh, very short session, so we are going to render the image which uh, we have uploaded. Okay. So for example, say this is a, a title. Uh, this uh, this the sample one so i'm going to edit it with image and uh, i'll upload a let's say a sample image and uh, we will hit save so it will create the it will actually upload the image in our uh, in the server so yes the image is there so now all we have to do is that uh, we have to uh, up, uh, render this image in our uh, uh, when the user clicks on this uh, link uh, this blog detail page so we will uh, render this this image here okay and uh, in order to do so so we will also need to make a little change in our uh, server side as well so we will do both of the stuffs very quickly don't worry about that okay so first of all so we will create uh, instead of this uh, access 12 so actually i am going to separate to make this uh, this whole row with a, a six column layout so it would be the component call access six and uh, like this and here so we will be rendering the image and it would be self-closing tag so here see the idea is that in our database if we, if we look at the how the we are getting the data so let me refresh it so here we are getting instead of us so we are getting the uh, actually the path the path of this whole image so we can uh, since our image is residing on the server so very simply we can for our our save in in this example so we can very simply say so we will go with the back tick and uh, we will start so first of all process dot env and uh, it, so we will simply very simply is uh, what i am going to do is that i am going to append the uh, image path whatever data i am uh, we are getting so we will say api data dot image like this so then uh, this way so we are appending the image path with the our server url so right now so if we look at here so it is happening so but actually so we will also need to make a little change in our server file so all all we have to do is that uh, we have to actually append a static route so that uh, uh, our static files can be rendered so this way so we can uh, for example say look in, in our database so i am having this static this static path uh, as part of while i while uh, i uploaded this this uh, file onto the server so i stored this static the whole the full path on the server so that is why so i created a special route so that the all the a, every route starting from the home location and having a word static so that would be uh, that would be uh, that would be that that location would be served from this directory so remember that uh, we are having the our uh, we are uploaded our files in the static slash uploads directory so that's uh, so that is how so we are getting this image so we can also give some width let's say i am going to we can also create some css class as well so let's say i am going to fit with 250 and height also 250 let's save it and uh, this way so our image is appearing 
and uh, if we navigate to some other uh, sample one with this one so this is not having this image so we can uh, we can upload any new one as well so let's say i'm going to edit this one so let's say we will upload this sample image i'm picking any just random image so we will click on this one so yes so this is working so this way we can render the image and rendering image is also i mean very very simple so let us also add one image here as well so in order to do that so we will navigate to our home component and uh, so dev title and uh, we can also have start a uh, div here and let's say we will go with image src and uh, i'll just copy this from this location that will save our time and uh, so control c and that would be control v and then instead of 250 so i am going to make it only 50 by 50 so that it will appear as a thumbnail and will we have self closing tab so it is not ap data rather it is record okay so so wherever the images are uh, there wherever the we are having images so we are uh, having this image appear so we also we can style it no problem so we can style as per our own uh, as per our own needs and and UI requirements so but this is the way through where let me also do one more thing so better we will have this image at the very top and uh, we'll have a width of 100 by let's say 100 so don't worry so i will make the css uh, and uh, will push that to git so you will uh, get the appropriate css stuff and uh, while we delete uh, since we are having this upload image functionality so while we delete uh, the, uh, a record so we should also delete that underlying image uh, as well file as well so in order to do so so we will need to do some change in our delete functionality so this is our delete functionality so here before deleting so first of all so we will need to remove the image and uh, removing the image is very very simple so there is nothing complex about that so all we have to do is so first of all let's say we will uh, create a file name variable and that is record dot image so that way so we will have the image and uh, now we will uh, we will live we will use the os package and this os is having a, a one one uh, method to remove the image so os dot remove and all we have to provide the file name name of the file and uh, actually it returns it may return some error so we will collect it in a variable and if there is any error so we will very simply log this so we will say if error is not nil that means there is some error occur so log dot print ln and we will say error and deleting file and we will pass on this error simple so this way whenever we delete this image so we will also get this underlying image also got deleted from the server so let us delete this try to delete this one so we'll say proceed so yes that image got deleted so this is how so this is how we can 
and actually this thing uh, happened because we are having the full in the file name variable so we are having all the static uh, starting from the static slash uploads and the file name so that's why so we uh, deleting is also very very simple okay so this so this is the way through which we can uh, handle with images and uh, that's all for this session and once again thanks vulcan uh, for pointing me out about this uh, missing uh, functionalities and thank you very much for that so still if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding